Hey guys, um, been working with the Jaskell drive. That's the Jaskell drive there. The, it's, so the idea here is actually, let me turn this off because these pop-ups are annoying me. Um, so here's the summary. I want the chain drive. The chain drive is basically just um, multiple jump drives hooked up to logic so that when one, so you make one jump, it will immediately jump you again and again and again. So it's like a chain like a chain cigarette smoking. You know, as soon as you get done with one cigarette, it goes to the next cigarette. So this one, as soon as you jump with one jump drive, it's automatically jumps you on the next one and the next one and the next one. So you can like incre travel incredible distances. Um, you don't need to hold down the button to charge it. Um, it's totally logic operated chain drive. Um, let me, let's go look at Jaskel's original one. It's over here. It's one that Jaskel put out. I did do some, so this is how it looks. You can um, go, stop, one, do one jump, um, credit, goes to, the logic jump drive features a mo moderately fast clock, enters ship remotes to interact with the drive's functions and 27 single block jump drives. Um, so you need to make sure the clock is running and then go, stop, or just do one jump. It's got one rotator. All of this is that's the same thing is half of this so just picture this half right here let me bring out my cursor this half right here this is the jaskel drive right here um all this other stuff over here was just stuff i was fooling around with to try to get it better but i can't beat jaskel jaskel's got an awesome awesome chain drive here so what I did to improve it, originally I added an extra row of delay circuits to kind of give it an extra bit. Um, on the Jasco by itself, just one drive, this extra row actually helped quite a bit. It shaved off a good 10 seconds off the charge time. By adding the big improvement was by adding that second a co-rotator with the same amount of stuff, so it's double the size. And I was able to shave 30 seconds, which is pretty impressive. I shaved 30 seconds off of the jump time. So let's go ahead and reset this. Um, we're going to go ahead and test it with just Jaskel by itself. Um, I've disconnected this one. So this last array, so this has, um, Jaskel only has six, one, two, three, four, five, six relay blocks or six uh, delay blocks. I added the seventh for the first improvement. All of these get focused down each one of these, um, each row here, not column, each row gets focused into one of these things. So this last row, the seventh row that I added, they're all going into this one and I've disconnected it from here to simulate how fast a standard Jaskel drive would go. So let me go ahead and um, I'm going to disconnect this guy. And we're going to go ahead and just do one standard Jaskel drive operation. Let's reset this clock down here. I don't want any residual charge affecting the readings. All right, so let's start it. I'm going to start my stopwatch. And go. All right, so the the jump drive right here is charging. And you can see the second half that I've made is not working. There's no signals coming in. Um, this is working the seventh row. It's still working. It's still hooked up, and it's still going into here, but it's not connected from here into here, so it's not going to affect the results. So this is a standard JASCO all spread out. This is what it looks like. Um, so if we want to explain it, we got the self, um, I guess, perpetuating full speed rail rotator right here, going into two, two flip flops. Those flip flops branch out into more flip flops. So I got a flip flop here, a knot, and then another flip flop. And then these flip flops go into activation and knots. Same thing on this end. 
and then all those feed down into six rows of delay gates. And after those delays, oh, hold on, um, they go into those bottom flip flops and not gates. But we're getting ready to come up on the time that the Jaskal normally jumps at. We're at a minute and 25 seconds. Minute and 30 seconds. Minute and 35 seconds. Any time now? Go. So that was a minute 39 seconds. Standard Jaskal drive is a minute 39 seconds. So a minute and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my co rotator. Turn this off. Wait till it gets done. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, nope, don't want to do that. Put down my computer. So this is just remove any residual drive charge. And I'm going to go and hook up my co-rotator. Now, this isn't even hooked up. This, the speed controller is not hooked up. This thing is just, oh, it was hooked, damn it, it was. It was two over one. So let's go ahead and hook that speed controller back up. So, um, but right, so it was two over one, right? Hold on, let me check my notes. Yeah, it was two over one. So that's two active, two inactive. So we're gonna put in a activation block. Here, here, and here. And, nope, wrong place. I want it pretty. Here, here, and here. And I wanna want my, nope, not that. I want my speed controller here. C, B, B. Connect all three of those. I want two of them on. Yep, and then I want to hook that speed controller up to here. All right, so there's my co-rotator set to 66%. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's 66.6% .6 added to the Jaskal drive. I'm putting the devil into the drive to get an extra 30 seconds out. How funny is that? <laughs> All right, so uh, here we go. And go. So it's charging. The previous one was a minute 39 seconds. This one is going to shave off more than 30 seconds. Hopefully. Let's see here. So all of these, each row, each row of these, right along here, all culminate down into one of these. So this whole row on the top, up this first half, all gets going down into here and here, or just into here. The second row, all along here, goes down into this one. Third row goes into the third one, or this one, because this first row is this top one. Second row, this is the second row, goes in the second one. Third row in here, and so on and so forth, all the way down. So what I can think about doing is if um, maybe get rid of these guys here and just focus them all into these guys over here and I think that's going to save me some blocks. So there's still some more experiment. And it's, oh, that was a minute and six. No, that was a one minute and 12 seconds. So that was one twelve. All right, so, or is a minute 11? What was a minute 11? So that's just showing you, went from 39 to 11. So what's 39 minus 11? So that's a 28 second, basically I reduced the time by one third, is what I did. And I can do some more experimenting around to try to shrink it down some in size, maybe take some of these bottom layers off. But uh, actually, I think that's why it was, okay, so let's go ahead and hook this up. So that gave me, see, 
B, C, V, C, V, C, V. So let's try it again with that seventh row. Now let's take the initial drive off. Oh, that's speed control. I don't want a speed controller. I want a jump drive. And then V, C, V. All right, so we're going to do this again. And I think this is going to be my fastest time yet. And go. This is going to be my fastest time yet. So I think in how I, I might end up shrinking this. So I think I did this at, um, I did this, I, I was playing around with this some before, but I think in, if I wanted to try to shrink this, I think what I'd end up doing is taking off this last row of these accumulators because they're all for this side. But there's no reason why I can't take all these rows and put them in over here to this side. So I don't need these. I can get rid of these and have all these focused down into here instead. Uh, at least that's the idea. And I probably don't need to break this out as much since it's only going half the speed. I can probably get by with just four of these. But we'll see. I'll play around with it some more, see if I can shrink it. But the cool thing, that the, the takeaway from here is I cut the time down. There it is. A minute, seven seconds. A minute, seven seconds. So that is 30 seconds of improvement. All right, guys. So that's all I wanted to share with you. This uh, Jasco clock, I'll try to get a, maybe another video once I've gotten it smaller. But uh, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.